Hello, everyone. Today we're going to do another book review. Thank you very much to the person who allowed me to do this, and I hope you like it. Let's have a look. Hello, home bosses. My name is Nuria Corby. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online. And if you like the sound of that, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to receive more videos like this. So today we're going to do another book review, and I know that a lot of you quite liked. Doing this, so here goes. I'll do another one, and thank you very much to the person who let me do this one. And let's see what we can find and whether we can improve it and see if you can make more sales. So let's take a look. So this is the book. It's my two hundred page storyboard pad, and I've not really. Investigated this niche before, so this is new to me as well. I didn't realize that you could have storyboard pads for budding filmmakers and animators. So this is quite an interesting、um, new niche for me. So let's take a look first of all at the title and subtitle. So the title is my two hundred page storyboard pad, and the subtitle for any budding filmmakers and animators. Boys or girls, single or groups, this will be the perfect creative tool to be gifted. So that's quite a long subtitle, but actually, it reads very well. So I don't mind that. I think first of all, the title, my two hundred page storyboard pad, is fine.、Um, I don't know if it needs the two hundred page information, but I'm sure actually. Two hundred pages is quite a lot, so that might be quite interesting for some people. That it's quite a substantial book, and it tells you what it is, which is a storyboard pad. So that's fine. I've got no problems at all with this title. It's nicely capitalized as well, and then the subtitle is supposed to tell you a little bit more about the book, and it's certainly doing that for any budding filmmaker. So it tells you exactly who this book is for, which is. Great, and animators, boys or girls. So it's for for everybody, single or groups. This will be the perfect creative tool to be gifted. So even though there are lots of keywords in this, it reads well. It's got the right grammar, the right spelling. So there's no problem with this. I would probably make it a little bit shorter, but that's just me. That's nothing to do with.、Um, You know, being better or worse, it's just how I do it. But you know, this reads very well. I think it's important that if it reads well, then it's absolutely fine to have a longer subtitle, especially when it's something that really is describing who the book is for, what the book is about, and how it can be used. So, if you've got that in your subtitle, then that's absolutely fine. So, what about the cover? I I quite like the cover actually. It's got a really clear title right at the top.、Um, the graphics are fine. I don't know whether it's targeting filmmaking as such. It may have been an idea to maybe put a camera there somewhere or some film reels or something like that.、Um, but it's it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I would probably jazz it up a little bit with maybe. Putting some film-related、um, graphics on there. So, actually, let's have a look and see if there are other books, similar books to this one. Let's see what the competition is doing. That's always a good thing to check. So, I typed in storyboard journal for filmmakers, and like I said, I've never really looked into this niche, so I can't say that I've researched it much. So, I've I'm not quite sure what the keywords or what the best keywords are. So I've typed in storyboard journal for filmmakers just to see what we can get just typing that in, and the、um, self-publishing titans、uh, keyword niche score is 46%, which is not that high. So we're really aiming for 63 and over. But as I said many times before. As long as、um, it's a good niche anyway, and you like producing a book in that niche, you can still bring out a book in a in a in a niche like this. And if we have a 
look at the number, the number of results is really low, which is really good. And the average price is um, good as well because it leaves us a lot of margin. We could bring out a book for six ninety nine and still um, be very competitive compared to the average price. The average BSR is not great, eight hundred and sixty nine thousand. It could be better, but you know the reviews are lowish, so it's it's got a chance of competing. So let's have a look. I don't think it's a book that's going to sell every day, but it doesn't matter because if you've got a lot of books like this and all of them sell now and again, it can quickly add up and you can make a good income from them. So it's not a bad niche to, to be in. But let's have a look what the competition are doing. So we've got a blank storyboard notebook, sketchbook. So what they've done is they've just put the interior or what you can do with the interior on the cover, which is not a bad idea. That's quite good. The colors are a bit bland, I would say, in this one. So maybe ours has got that advantage that it's a bit more colorful. Um, let's have a look. This one here, Film Storyboard Notebook, Storyboard Template Cinema Notebook. This is what I meant, um, kind of having some film reel popcorn, anything that's film related on the cover um, is quite nice. But then when I compare that to our book, which one stands out more? I think it's this one here. I would maybe just add something a little bit more film related and absolutely fine otherwise. Um, there's another one, interesting one here. I like the retro look in this one. And this, there's all different covers. So I think ours or yours <laughs> can stand out quite well among that. So it's it's quite a good cover in that sense. But like I said, if you want to change it a little bit and add something that's film related, like a camera, film reels, anything like that is, is you know, that would make it a little bit more targeted to the niche. So um, keywords. <laughs> This is a difficult one because, like I said, I haven't researched this niche before, so I can't really say um, what the best keywords are. But if you look up filmmaking and what people might need for creating a film, putting a film together, and I know, for example, making YouTube videos, I know the kind of things that I would need. So I would maybe do exactly what you're doing in the subtitle and tell people what this book is for. It's for any budding filmmakers and animators. Um, you know, maybe say something like to plan your um, your film or to plan your film creation, something like that. Maybe put the, the word plan or schedule or something like that in it. Let's actually have a look inside the book and see what it entails. So the first page is fine. This storyboard book belongs to, like I said before, I mean, when books are targeted at adults, I don't do that anymore, um, but you can do it. It's absolutely fine to do that. I, I just sometimes think, is it something that children used to do? You know, put your name in the book, but absolutely fine to leave it as it is. Maybe add a little copyright notice, not that it's necessary either, but it's something to to do and the other thing that I would add in every book is how to use the book how to get the most out of your book and maybe have some instructions how to fill it out or have some um, pages where you have filled it out as an example something like that can be done again not necessary but it's just something I can think of that you could do to improve any book um, so let's have a look at the next page so we've got production title and pages. So I imagine this is like an index for the pages, which is always good to have so that people can find their content easier. And let's see, there we go. So now we come to the to what's important for this. So this is what the person buying this book is looking for. They're looking for ways to plan or to schedule or to um, create their film, their video, whatever they're making. Um, and it's been divided into production, artist, 
page. See, the problem is now I'm not very familiar with this kind of niche. And this is why I always say to people, research your niche and make sure that you know who you're targeting, what the book is going to be for. So I'm not the best person to judge this right now because I'm not really familiar with this kind of, um, with this niche. But I had a look at some other books and in this kind of niche and they were very similar. They had the similar kind of entries that this book has. It's very well designed, very well laid out. And I like that it's very easy to see exactly what you, what you need. Um, I can see that it's got space there for the shot type, for the description, the script. So that's very useful. And then it's got a space here that I imagine you could even sketch in or you could, um, draw, um, you know, so, or, or even just write more words in which, whichever way you want to use it. It's got, um, entries for timing, shot and scene. And like I said, unfortunately, I'm not very familiar with this niche. So judging from the other books that I've seen in this niche and that I've looked at, it seems to be a, a good design. So let's have a look and see what other books I found. And let's have a look inside of them to see if we can compare them. So let's have a look. Where was the one with the popcorn? <laughs> that one caught my eye. Let's see. Um, if we look inside of this one, there we are. So it's quite similar. You know, it's got spaces for production, artist. I actually prefer the other one, <laughs> even though I don't know the niche, but I prefer the way it's laid out because there seems to be more space to write and it, it seems a little bit clearer. I think they, they crammed it quite they crammed in quite a lot into one page in this one. I still like it. It's quite nice, but it's slightly, um, not as well designed. Can you see there's, there's a bigger space between these two? I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I quite like the design of the other one. So well done. Um, this one I think is quite a nice little book. The only, reasons I can think of um, you not having more sales because it's it's 200 pages which is quite substantial um, but that's probably why the price is a bit higher as well so I don't know whether you want to consider maybe making something with less pages and then lower your price a little bit something to try I'm not saying that's the way to go I don't normally um, like making things cheaper, but I think in this case it might be worth a try. Let me see when you published this book. So it's not been on that long. It was published in October 2020, so it's still early days. Um, maybe don't change anything. Wait and see if you get a few more sales. And if you don't see much happening after Christmas, then maybe I would consider changing the cover a little bit, maybe adding uh, a film reel or maybe make another book. Leave this one because it's actually quite nice. There's nothing wrong with it, but maybe make another one for this niche with a different type of cover and maybe with less pages and bring the price down so that you've got two that you can compare because that's quite a good idea when you have a niche try different things within that niche as well. So try different prices, try different um, covers. But when you try different prices, uh, don't use the same covers or the same amount of pages. Make it so that there's a reason why one is cheaper than the other. I wouldn't make two the same and then just make one cheaper and the other more expensive. Um, there has to be some kind of difference why one is cheaper than the other one. So in this case, you could make one with less pages. Actually, let's see what your competition is doing regarding pages. Um, this one has 180 pages, so they seem to be... Let's have a look at another one. They seem to be quite substantial compared to other type of books. Let's have a look at this one with the film reel. Um, so this one has got 122 pages and the price is 6.99. So yes, I guess you could try something like this and see if that makes a difference for your book. 
But all in all, I think this is a really nice little book. It's just a matter of trying different things. If you're not getting sales with a book that you think is good and you've done your research and you've put in your keywords and you've made a nice cover and it's still not selling, then do what I suggested in terms of changing something. Um, publish another book in the same niche, maybe use the same keywords, but then change something about it like the cover and um, maybe the, the size of the book, less pages so that you can bring the price down. And I wouldn't make too many books under six ninety nine. I don't think I've got any under six ninety nine as far as I can think of, because otherwise it's really not worth it. You'd have to sell a lot of books to get a, a return and it's not worth doing. So rather than bringing the price down, I would try and just reduce maybe the pages and make that the reason why you're reducing the price rather than not changing anything. And just try a different cover reducing the page number. In some cases, not maybe in this one, but in other cases you could try more page numbers as well. So it's good to take a niche and try different things with that niche so that you can then compare and hopefully sales will pick up. Um, at the moment, I think also the market is really geared to gifts. And I know that you've got um, a very important keyword here, which is to be gifted. And I hope that in your seven backend keyword slots, you always put um, gift for or present for, and then whoever uh, you can give this as a present to or as a gift to, because I find that that really helps with my book sales, especially just before Christmas. So um, to be gifted is great because you you know um, what it's for you can give this as a gift but people tend to type in gift for and then maybe gift for story makeup or gift for filmmaker something like that and uh, so make sure that you put gift in your in your backend keywords as well um, or you could even put it in the title and say um, gift for budding filmmakers, something like that. And you can get, I think you can get away with it in the subtitle. So yes, I mean, a nice little book. I can't see much wrong with it. <laughs> the things that I've pointed out are basically just to try something different if you're not having many sales. I mean, I've got some books that I really, really love that are really great in my opinion. <laughs> but I think, you know, everybody I've spoken to, they say, yeah, they're really good looking books and they're not selling. So Sometimes that's how it goes and you just have to try and make different covers with the same interior, but then try different covers, see if that catches someone's eye and just tweak a few little things. And also wait and see if your sales increase um, after Christmas. It's only been on since October. It's not the typical book that you would give as a gift. Um, and it's a, a pretty specialized niche as well. So that's probably why the sales aren't um, too, too many at the moment. But that can all change. And if you've got a few books like that, that are in specialized niches, and even if they just sell now and again, if you've got a lot of them, then it adds up. It's always good to have things like that in your bookshelf as well. So I think that's covered it. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Or if you've got any more information about this kind of niche, um, let me know as well. And everything helps if we can help each other making some more sales, that would be great. And uh, I think I'm going to do a few more of these kind of videos. Let me know if, if that's something that you would be interested in. Actually, let me know any videos that you're interested in because I'd like to make things that actually help you and sometimes it's hard to to know you know so if you can tell me what kind of videos you would like then that would be really good so let me know if you enjoyed this video I'm thinking as I said I'm thinking of making more videos like this hopefully they will help you and if you have any questions, you can also join our Facebook group, The Home Boss Group. I'll leave a link below the video. You're very welcome to ask questions there. 
and I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.